So we're now moving on to level two of Google's cross-site scripting game. So let's click OK, and we see an advance to next level button has appeared. So we've advanced to the next level. The title of this level is Persistence is Key. The mission description says, web applications often keep user data and server side and increasingly client side databases and later display it to users. This is absolutely true, especially the second half a long time ago, it used to be the majority of data that a web application made use of would come from the server. These days, we have SPA frameworks like, like React or like Vue that make use of state management libraries like Redux or like um, Vuex. And oftentimes, these have plugins that persist them to local storage or to session storage and sometimes even more advanced client-side storage like IndexedDB. So it goes on to say, no matter where such user data, user controlled data comes from, it should be handled carefully. This is obviously true. This level shows how easily XSS bugs can be introduced in complex applications. The mission objective is to inject a script to pop up an alert in the context of the application. It says, note, the application saves your posts. So if you sneak in code to execute the alert, this level will be solved every time you reload it. Okay, that's interesting. So um, let's take a look at this application first. The application is called Mad Chatter. It says chatter from across the web. Um, it looks like we've already made a post. So I assume this is like our avatar. There is some data here. It says this is your personal stream. You can post anything you want, especially madness. Um, I, I don't really know what that means, but uh, let's try to make a post. Let's just say, hello world and uh, share that status. So apparently this is something akin to a forum or a messaging app. And if we look at this hello world here, let's inspect it real quick. We can see that it comes inside of a block quote. Okay, that's cool. Um, now, my first question would be, uh, much like the previous level, is it possible for us to throw some HTML in there and have it get interpreted by the browser. Uh, in other words, not be filtered out. Let's see, let's try to do an underline. Let's do hello world and see if this becomes underlined. Okay, wonderful. So in this case, what we did was we passed to the server or whatever type of database they're using our comment or our post and we included some HTML in it. Now, when the application, the client application, decides to render this, it renders the HTML as is, gets interpreted into uh, DOM elements, and hence we have this underline under hello world. So this, this makes me optimistic that maybe we can include some script tag here. So we put a script there, we click share status, and let's see. Here's a block quote. So interestingly enough, it looks like we don't have script execution. What the client side application is probably doing is loading in the element, the script element, and then injecting the text into the center. And that's one method by which you can actually prevent script from loading. Because what happens when the script tag loads into the DOM is it's gonna call an onload function internally or something equivalent and then it's gonna start executing all of the code that it contains. But if it's empty when it loads in, and then you change the content later, then when you change the content of the script tag, it's not gonna re-execute. So it might just be dead code here. So what that means is we probably need to find another way around this. So we want script execution, but we're not gonna be able to get script execution from something that is inside of a script tag. So a common way of doing this is doing something like an on error inside of an image. So we create an image tag and we set the SRC equal to something invalid like one, two, three. And then we'll do on error. So if an error occurs, we want to call a script. In this case, we will simply call alert and we'll try sharing that and see what happens. Okay, so you can see the image didn't load in because the SRC was obviously invalid not a URI of any sort, um, but our on error attribute inside of that image tag fired and it gave us this congratulations, you 
executed an alert. Um, obviously nothing inside of that alert, we can now advance to the next level. So it's time to go to level three.